people welcome to my youtube channel Elliot wave principle in today's video we are going to look at gold using Elliot wave brand principle on a monthly chart we can see that we have completed the five wave structure starting from this bottom to this top and then it gets followed by a three wave structure as per Elliot wave rules so we have completed wave one which is wave a of a flat correction wave b of a flat correction and right now expecting that the prices will fall below in wave c of a flat correction let's have a look at weekly chart get back to daily so the prices have been going up and down up and down although the price action matches does kind of give you a clue that probably it is some sort of correction but the reversals that have been happening are actually telling us that if it was to a correction then the reversals would not be so sharp so one thing first the 5 wave structure is complete the second thing is that I'm expecting the word uh, a combination of wave 1 and 2 and 1 and 2 all of this is putting together in my head that uh, we are we have completed wave B right over here and then we have seen a series of wave 1s and wave 2s if you look at the price action I'm considering this as wave 1 this is wave 2 which is truncated wave 2 this is smaller degree wave 1 and then this whole correction is wave 2 which is an expanded flat some of the colleagues act, uh, viewers actually said that this could not be a five wave structure and the reason I'm considering is that the triangle gives us the length of wave 3 is right over here and wave, the triangle ends right over here and that's with wave 5 that makes it wave 5 is makes smaller uh, as compared to wave 3 and then wave 1 is of course the largest so that can be considered a five wave structure if you consider this as a triangle <coughs> after that we have seen a sharp price road down right over here we are considering this as the five wave structure wave one wave two wave three wave four uh, right over here and then wave five right over here yes. after that we can see that the prices went up quite a bit of dramatic price movement right over here in this region and we are considering this as a smaller degree flat correction wave a outside the flat correction this is wave flat correction wave b and then we have a five wave structure right over here wave c I'm expecting that this has not completed the correction yet and I'm expecting that this this is not an impulsive move and this is part of the correction that's why I'm expecting the prices would head up in next couple of days so I'm expecting the prices to jump up Monday Tuesday and an important target level cross price is this one if by any chance prices actually do manage to cross this area we might get up and a little deeper as well there is a possibility but for now we have seen the start of the price movement is very slow so I'm seeing that the prices may be actually a little shorter than the target right over here or it can hit the target and reverse so both possibilities are there prices can actually be in this region and then reverse or prices can actually go hit in this region in this words if price gets really stronger on Monday Tuesday then it can go a little deeper so keep both things in mind as far as decision helping is concerned I have made some important support line right over this which is actually covering the price movement this one let's have a look at a 15 minute chart this uh, this support line I'm talking about so I'm uh, bear I'm bullish in immediate sh uh, couple of days time as, as far as goal is concerned but if you look in next six to uh, ten months I'm bearish in gold I hope you like this video if you did like it please press the thumbs up button so that other people can see it on YouTube and YouTube can recommend it to them if you are inter interested in silver silver is going to press us present us an extremely interesting trading opportunity please have a look on a silver uh, analysis as well it's a separate video thank you so much once again have a good one and bye bye